G'day YouTube, Maisie here. We've uh, got one of our inverters on the floor. We've uh, got the frame all mounted to the wall with the nice white sheeting that we had in the back shed. My electrician friends come and put the um, off-grid power box in. Um, it's still just temporary connected up to the inverter. So we've got this one to play with. Um, you know, got the meter, so we know how many units to charge ourselves. Uh, it's got a changeover switch. It's got to be in between the inverters and amp gauge. Got to have two amp gauges now. But yeah, that's that done. So what we're doing is we're working out. We've got this mount of area to put the charge controls, can charge controllers, and the inverters on, and the DC disconnects. Uh, and the disconnects from the solar panels because the wires are coming down there so we're trying to work out how to do it so Trevor's been a bit busy he's got some cardboard so he's cut out the cardboard to the size of the bottom of the inverter so we can place it on the board and work out where everything's going to fit comfortably before we start drilling holes in this nice new looking off-grid controller wall so we've even he's even gone right down to working out the size of the classics all right i'll uh, stick some on there and uh, let you guys have a look and see what you think look we've even got sh teaching charlotte how to do off-grid power see charlotte that's the charge controller that's the inverter and that's the batteries. What do you think? Look impressive? Okay, we've got our bits of chart out to where we might uh, locate our charge controllers, switches, fuses. Uh, we got the fuses for the inverters and the disconnects and the disconnects for the charge controllers. We reckon we put the Inverters, one there, one down there, and that uh, pretty well fills up. Might even put another row of charge controllers at the top there because it's only got enough room there for three, and we need about five for all the solar panels. So, yeah, there you go, YouTube. There's a little bit of an update of where we're thinking about putting all the bits and pieces. So, let me know what you think. Yeah, YouTube, we've got one inverter on the board connected up with the nice fat cable. Had a bit of a trouble getting the cover on over the DC connections. I might have to knock something up. But yeah, we've got that ready for the, it's because it's a hot day later on to, uh, tomorrow. So yeah, we've got it all connected up. We've put that one there. We're having a look, maybe there and switches and fuses but yeah one mounted to the wall I've just connected the cable up for the off-grid air conditioning just in case I need it but yeah I'll get my uh, bit more up all right YouTube that's a bit of an update on our um, control solar inverter control charge control board whatever you want to call it all right see you YouTube